is 5.49 and we are headed to the little center that we're taking Gigi to get tubes put in her ears. So those that know what it is know that it's, it's not a big deal. Like that's how they present it. It's literally like a seven minute procedure. It's just general anesthesia. And I can't, I can't say that word. Anesthesia. anesthesia. And I want to say Anastasia. <laughs> They do like hundreds of these a week. Like it's just, it's, it's a super common thing. But Yeah. And it takes like five minutes and then it's done. And there's no pain for the kid, not even after. So I know it's not a big deal, but of course as a parent or when it's anyone that you love, sibling, friend, whatever, it's still kind of nerve wracking. And, yeah. and like she can't eat this morning. So she's like, mm, mm. I'm like, no, honey, oh, we can't man. even give her water. She's been up about 20 minutes as have we. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just getting there. We're eating cliff bars courtesy yeah. of. The whole family. Yeah, Thank you, when Ben. When I get up like, early and I need to go do something and I'm really hungry for breakfast, I reach for a Cliff Bar. <laughs> anyway. Sponsored by Cliff. No, not sponsored by Cliff Bar. That's funny. Anyway, sponsored by Benjamin Hall. <laughs> anyway. For those of you who don't know, Ben works for Cliff Bar. Yes, sorry. Anyway, so, oh, side note though, if you can find them, the peppermint, peppermint bark ones actually are the best ones. Block of block of blame. Yeah. Anyway, so we are headed there and then. I mean, I literally, we're there, they expect you there 45 minutes early to do paperwork. I'm like, what paperwork is there? But we'll be there, uh, actually even earlier than that, so we'll see if it's even unlocked. We, uh, I know Tyler's mama, Benita, wanted to come. We were like, you can, but I think it'll be quick. Like, I don't think it'll be long, and it's also really early in the morning. She's like, oh, that's okay, I don't have to go. But I feel bad, because I, she's so sweet. But anyway, so we'll get home after this, and we're both craving eggs, despite the cliff bar. <laughs> Uh, so we might get home and have some eggs and... And Jessica's parents are coming over to babysit like normal today. Anyway, so that is where we're headed. We'll check in maybe later, maybe after. I mean, definitely after at some point. All right. Two more funny things to say. No, interesting. So one thing, we're having deep thoughts this early in the morning. First of all, I was like, why is it... I mean, I get why, but wouldn't it be cool if you could buy a Kindle book... And the thing is, Kindle books are not cheap. They're like ten dollars and up. Book prices, a lot of times. Yeah, I guess it's cheap compared to a book. Like if you're right, depending, but still, you're gonna read it once and you're like, all right, I'm not reading again. And there's no bookshelf to like present it on. It's just on your Kindle. But I was like, wouldn't it be cool if you could sell used Kindle books for like half the price? Because we passed the store called Half Price Books. But I'm like, oh, I love it, but I don't buy a lot of real books anymore. And that's when I had my million dollar idea. I'm sure Amazon won't go for it. But they can make even more money of people that don't want to spend. But how would it be used? It's not like it's stained and ripped. It's a Kindle book. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that was thought and number it's not one. Like other software, because other software will get outdated. Like Kindle books, it's. I mean, it doesn't depreciate it really in yeah. any way. It's it like one of the few things. The quality that, doesn't go down. Yeah. Just an interesting thought. And then what was the other thing we were thinking of? Also, real quick, we used to have um, a library card at like the Indiana, the, Indiana, the Indianapolis Library, and it was the best because we could get Kindle books for free. But now both of our cards are expired and we don't live in. They, you know that our town's library know, does the same I, thing. Yeah, I know. But That's I, how I, I get a lot of my. How to use it yet, so. Oh, it's literally the same as what we were doing for that. Just different awesome. login. It'll. Forget I can't believe I'm free. teaching you something about the Kindle. Anyway, yeah, that's Mine why I got a lot. Like but the problem is I take expired. longer. It's like a three-week loan period, and usually the books I'm wanting, I'm on a waiting list for. So after the three weeks are done, it's gone because someone else needs to read it, and I never finish the book, so that's why I end up buying books. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, so I can yeah. take my time. Anyway, the other thought or, like, interesting thing that's happened is I got an email saying, oh, someone's trying or, – or someone was resetting all of your security info for your Microsoft account, which I don't even have anything Microsoft – but I was like, well, maybe because I used to have Microsoft Word. And I'm like, well, and so I'm looking at it and it says, tap the button below if this was you trying to change your security info so that you can skip the waiting period yeah. and enter your existing info. I'm like, and at first I was like, well, maybe until I was like, we'll see what the email's from. And then it was like something, something at security accounts, whatever, accountsecurity.microsoft.com. And so I'm like, it almost sounds legit, but it's not at microsoft.com it's at sec account security whatever and then on top of that the more you think about it, you're like wait why if i were changing all my security info why would you need me to enter my existing and what the heck waiting period are you talking about it was yeah. just very sketchy but it almost got me and i would like to think i'm pretty tech savvy so just be aware man phishing sneaky, scams are out there yeah sneaky people out there anyway we're having a lot of thoughts <laughs> hi 
She's grumpy because she can't eat anything right now. <laughs> we know you're hungry, sweetie. Ears. And there's your eyes. There's your nose. Nose. Good. There's your mouth. Don't pick your nose. <laughs> All right, we talked to the nurse, got all that stuff done. Now we're waiting and she's playing with the wallpaper. <laughs> Very exciting wallpaper. She does mm -hmm. not like having her temperature taken. She never does. Or anything else like that. Her weight, she didn't like standing on the scale. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're just standing there. <laughs> just stand there for a second. You hanging on to mommy. You know you're hungry. Me too. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that for Oh no. <laughs> Playing peekaboo with Sophia the first. <gasps> you tired. I've only had one tear. <laughs> no. We're just waiting. One singular manly tear. <laughs> no, we're just waiting and praying that all goes well, but we've had our eyes on the clock and it's only been three minutes, so <laughs> twelve minutes ago. I don't know. We'll just see. This coffee is hitting the spot, though. All done. Already back to normal. Just woke up. He's groggy. Yeah, a little groggy. Mm -hmm. Good job, Shazie. You did very good. She drinking some juice. I think they said they have to make sure that she can. That her airways <laughs> and everything is good after the anesthesia. So. Mm -hmm. It's a little. She's. It's a different sippy. It's a little Where awkward, but it's yeah, getting there. She's getting, she's getting it done. And this is full strength juice. So she's like, this is so good like, stuff. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, mommy, daddy, I think that there's something wrong with the juice you buy. <laughs> it is half as delicious as this because we water it down. <laughs> well, she was the bravest of brave girls. Yes, she was awesome. She's, now she's just tired. She's just staring wistfully out the window. Yeah, she really is. Um, so we're headed home. I'm so relieved that's over. Yeah. And it went well and um, going into it you know that it's gonna be fine it's i know but you like it's still, a nerve-wracking thing and, and you, you never know done. you just want to yeah yeah so it's good so we're gonna head home have some breakfast i'm gonna see if she wants to eat a little something and then i might lay her down for like a morning nap because a yeah. we woke her up early but b she's just so groggy and tired they said she might want to sleep Take for a bit nap, sleep yeah. some of it off so we'll see we'll see how it all goes but and then work we got to work yeah. today still I need to figure out what I'm filming. Ooh, I had a content, it is. I had like a content layout of the month, but with Vlogmas, everything went haywire. And so yeah. oh, you and I, I need to really think speaker. through, it is my day. All right, well, that's step one. And then figuring out anyway. I'm probably gonna make eggs. <gasps> Which kind? Should I make the spicy Eggy eggs? holes. Oh, oh, that. But you're gonna have to make them because I gotta edit Vlogmas. I don't know, you're the, you're the eggy hole queen. I know. Don't flatter me just to get me to make it. <laughs> no one can make them like you can. Well, I was going to say the same thing to you, so what well, do we do? Actually, I could do the, the spicy eggs, too. I've made those. The harissa? Mm -hmm. I could get down with that. Ooh, but I could. No, nah, yeah. I want eggy holes now, though. No, no. I like, know. you got to go make eggy holes. you got to go edit Vlogmas, then. No. Those are equivalent. No. I don't think they are. <laughs> okay, two things. We're going to watch the Wonderful World of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. It was on, what was it on, Netflix or Hulu? Uh, Disney Plus. Oh, on, yeah, checks out. Anyway, so what you need for eggs in a basket or eggs in a hole or eggy holes, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, is there another name? Eggs in a nest, I think I've heard. I think that's, yeah. Also, we call it eggy holes from the Goldbergs because they're always talking about the eggy holes, and I just thought that was hilarious. Yeah, that's we've never we, called it that before. That's why we switched it because of that show. Anyway, so all you need is butter of some kind. We're just going to use spreadable butter. Bread of some kind and eggs. This Dave's Killer Bread I learned about from a coworker from a few years ago, and he was right. It is unbelievable. They sell it at Costco, but they also sell it at regular stores, but Costco has the best deal. We just freeze it and then defrost what we need because we don't eat a lot of bread. So I'm just defrosted those. We usually eat two each, so four slices of bread. Um, I guess four eggs in the end too, but get ready to live. This is the most delicious thing in the world. So the first step is to take the bread and butter it on both sides. You gotta butter both sides of the bread first. It's messy, but it just is what it is. And then take either a cup that's smaller or a cookie ring. Don't worry, I know this looks dirty. It's just cause it's old. I just double checked, it's not dirty. And so you basically cut out the middle hole 
And don't throw this away because you're going to fry this up as well. But the egg is gonna go in there, hence the name eggy hole or eggs in a basket, whatever. Quick pro tip. <laughs> Make sure you butter the whole slice before you try to cut at the middle, because I've done it the opposite way. And then trying to butter awkwardly this butter thing, the outer, and this, it rips and it's a nightmare. Yeah, that is very true. Okay, all right. So you can use a pan, like cast iron pan, nonstick pan. We happen to have this part of this stove. I'll try to do it really quick while she's whining. I know. Uh, so you set it on there. Ooh, I have it on like medium. I might even turn it down a little bit. And then you will crack the egg right into the hole and you let it sit there, depending on the temperature, for a minute or two. Oh my gosh. Egg life would not um, work. Let it sit there for a minute or two. You can salt uh, and pepper the other side if you want, which I'll do in a sec. And then soon enough, it's done enough that you can actually flip it, do it for another minute, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. That yes, is it. Not, oh and then gosh, you'll I'm also so fry these little guys on either side as well. Those things are the bomb.com. The bomb. They're they so good. The best. Yeah. So in the end, they might look pretty on one side and a little like, messy on the other but that's what makes it so delicious and then we've got these little guys that are like extra crunchy oh my gosh so good eggy holes all right uh i gotta say i know my way around an egg but jess is the undisputed yeah. queen of eggy holes Yay. they're perfect you me to make you eggy holes. they're perfect Yay. every time Yay. every time yours are runny in the middle too good that was nailed actually, I it that. i mean it was on <laughs> She's got a baby doll from Nana and Papa. Look how sleepy she is. What do you think? Baby doll? You were such a brave girl. Oh, honey. Yeah, she's sleepy. Okay, hours have passed. I have showered and gotten ready and I'm working right now. And so she's been sleeping from 10 to one and she is still sleeping. I think she had a lot, you know, sleeping the anesthesia off and stuff like that. That's why I'm talking so quietly. So I'm uh, about to sit down and film and I'm actually still finishing up some of Vlogmas as well, but it's just been an odd day, you know, but I'm so relieved that it's all over with and that Gigi's getting some good sleep. So I was just going through my drawers and grabbing things that I've tried recently that are newer to me. So with these, I want to do like a speed review video a la like Nicole Renee or Nicole Cutler. I love her. I love her channel. Honestly, if you like my channel, I, I think you'd love her channel. I like to think we have some things in common. But frankly, she's way cooler than I am. But she uh, she does these videos all just literally focusing on a speed review of products she's been trying. Like, okay, now that I've tried them for a few weeks, here's what I think. I've done videos similar where it's like an anti-first impression. Um, and then I also did one called Review Roundup. They were all the same idea where I've tried something for a month or two. I just think a speed review is a more uh, scroll-friendly title. It's easier to understand. You know what I'm saying? Then like anti-first impression is a very beauty focused term, I guess. This is still beauty focused though. I don't know. I just think it's easier to understand and I, I like the title. So there we go. Thank you, Nicole, for inspiring me. I'm trying to make sure there's not so many products and there are plenty of new ones I've been trying, but I still really don't know how I feel about them. So I'm not going to pull those in. I'm just pulling in the things that I'm like, okay, I know how I feel about these. So I'm excited. I haven't done a beauty focus video in a hot minute. So yay. Hey everyone. So quick question for you all. Would you be interested in me? I usually do like beauty empties, but I'm thinking about since I'm branching a little bit more into lifestyle, doing the empties where I even save like lifestyle empties, laundry empties, all of that kind of stuff, household cleaners. So what are your thoughts? Would you be interested in me doing those grouped all together? Um, I think that'd be interesting. Like I would like to watch some of my favorite YouTubers share that stuff. So I'm wondering if you would like to see my, my trash. What's up? <laughs> so I'm filming, I just finished filming a beauty video. It was so much fun. I haven't filmed a beauty video in a hot minute, but I have, well, not that. I have the products I was just using. I'm about to film close-ups. And sometimes I'll turn the camera around and do close-ups like facing this way, just something different. And I love how bright it is over here. So that's what we're gonna do today. You ever have a day where you maybe drank too much coffee? <laughs> it's rare for me, I have to admit. But like the ratio to like how long I've been awake and the coffee I've drank and like the food I've eaten and the water I've drank, it's not, it's all off balance. So I just feel like dizzy and like, um, it doesn't help that there were parts of this vlog that I was just editing that were dizzying. I cut them out, but I think that like set me over the edge. And side note, ever since I had a baby, 
I cannot handle, like I don't play video games, we just don't, but Tyler's brother Jason does. And there was a time we were like streaming with him and we were playing a game. Actually, I, we weren't even playing, we were watching him play. And I literally have never felt sick. I can't believe I didn't throw up. I felt so sick and it took me hours and hours to shake. And I told Jason, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. It literally is so dizzying to me and it's never been that bad. It was after I had a baby, it just, I'm just all messed up. Anyone else, I'm so curious. But anyway, I'll never be the same. So I keep seeing all these runners go by and I'm like, I should go on a run today. Like a lot of it, there's still a lot of snow, but a lot of it's melted. So you could run like on the road, you could run on most of the sidewalks. So I've seen a bunch of people running by. It must be like in the like 40s maybe. No, it's like 23 out. I'm like, these people are bold and brazen and brave. All the bees. Anyway, so I'm not going to go run outside. And frankly, I'm too hungry to do anything. You know what? I'm going to do it. Um, <laughs> it seemed really dramatic. I was like, yes. Can I help um, you? I'm going to go on a quick run, even though it's cold. Do it, man. I know you're proud of me. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> well, the thing is, I've seen all these runners go by, and I'm like, what? So then I check the weather, and I'm like, certainly it's like upper 30s, 40s. No, it's like 23 out. But I'm like, I've got the gear. I'm going to warm up. I'll just do like two miles, like a quick, you, you a quick you, two, man. a quick two. I feel like I should be sticking my pinky out. This part. <laughs> very fancy. Also, do you, did I ever force you to watch, uh, uh, Young Frankenstein. Yes. Okay, when we Gene. First started dating. It was very weird. It's, early. It's a great movie. It. Anyway, it Young Frankenstein. Gene Hackman's in it, and at one point he says, "Wait, where are you going? I was gonna make espresso." Yeah, I know. It's a great line. Anyway, uh, we're having espresso, which is why I was just thinking about that. Um, so I actually have a meeting tonight to go to here in just a little bit. So we're doing a super, super quick uh, dinner. This is actually one of our favorites, but I'm kind of doing like a Cliff Notes version of it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just quinoa, but then I'm going to use one of these like uh, two minute ready ones. So quinoa, and this is, oh, this is red, brown and red rice. Yeah, We've nice. also made it with rice. Like yeah, yeah, it doesn't kinda, matter. Just some kind of base. It's just some sort of base. Um, and then it, so it's, it's a bowl, like a protein bowl. Um, and then you normally again, like fresh broccoli. I'm just, this is literally microwave broccoli from a bag. <laughs> that I, I thawed in the microwave and I'm gonna throw it in the oven because like in the oven is like the roasted broccoli is like the best. what makes this dish for me. Yes. Um, I like black beans in it too. And so I'm gonna put these on the side. I'm just gonna try it with black. I love black beans, but for whatever reason in this dish, I'm gonna try it again. I haven't tried it in a long time. And then Crackers, this is like cheesy. vegan sausage. That's really good. Um, and we just cut this up and everything goes, oh, and then uh, And tomatoes. warm it on a And yeah, and pan. everything goes in a, in a bowl together and it's, delicious it really the is the thing that makes oh. it though is mm -hmm. this food network mango chipotle sauce oh my so gosh so the broccoli in this and the sausage is that really it? everything everything in the bowl is make what makes this bowl and we but, try to get like each like each bite we try to create a mini like everything in yeah, it and it's yeah. so good though but literally it's gonna it's, it only takes me like 10 minutes so it's, it's a really super quick dish especially this way where i'm doing the, the quick broccoli and the quick rice mm -hmm. um and then this just gets put in a pan yep. and that's about it well and i love these bowls they're they're kind of a big thing right now but i love them because you can put whatever you want in them like i mean mm -hmm. they really are so versatile um it's awesome mm -hmm. okay i've got the broccoli there in the oven roasting. I've got the vegan sausage here in the, the cast iron. I'll just kind of turn it. And once it's all cooked, I'm going to take it off and cut it up into smaller pieces. This is the sauce back here that I was showing that I'm kind of warming up a little bit. And then I got the black beans here. And then finally, I got the cherry tomatoes cut in half, ready to go. So then they're all just going to go in this big bowl. Oh, and then the, uh, the, the rice stuff is in the microwave. So once that's all done, it all gets thrown together and easy peasy. Dinner's ready. All right, so Tyler made dinner, it's almost done, and we I just laid Gigi down, gave her a bath, and we had to put drops in her ears. I think I got enough drops in, and it was it literally said to have the person lie on their side and stay there for five minutes. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then we were supposed to do it for the other side. I'm like, yeah, she's not gonna lay still for five minutes unless I literally strap her down. So I think I kind of wiggled it in there well. There's like a way you can kind of pull on the ear to get it, I guess, farther into the ear canal. Anyway, so that's good. She's laying down, um, and I am storming. Tyler, that smells so good. No reaction from him. Oh, oh I said it smells really good. Oh, good. Go ahead. <laughs> He's like in a right, daze. Kermit the, Frog sing, so. Kermit the Frog is a good singer. Anyway, and we're going to watch a Bob's Burgers episode. It's going to be a good night. Anoka says, yeah, that food smells really good, actually.
dinner is served. <laughs> that uh, looks so good. And again, just throw it all in the bowl. It doesn't mm -hmm. look appetizing. I think it does. It's colorful uh, it's, too. It's really good. It's so good. I don't really want to get up. <laughs> I just want to go right to bed. It's like 7.30. I'm going to go do the dishes since he made dinner. And um, what else? <laughs> I really don't know why I'm checking in right now. I just wanted an excuse to not have to get up just yet. I'm laying in my, I've got my leggies on Pinocchio. And he's like, oh, what? <laughs> anyway, um, and then I think Tyler and I are going to have a little bit of dessert, which really is going to be the homemade Thin Mints or the ginger spice molasses cookies and milk and maybe decaf coffee if we're crazy. <laughs> Uh, and watch the new Superstore episode here in a little bit, but we figured we can get some other stuff done. So that's the plan, if I ever get up. <laughs> so I'm sitting here and kind of, without looking at my makeup at all, thinking through the year 2019 about what I loved the most, because I'm planning my Jammy Awards. I'm gonna be doing it differently this year. I don't wanna share how I'm gonna do it, because I, I'm not totally settled on, like I think I know what I'm gonna do, but I'm not for sure. Regardless, I, de I, can, I will share, I'm definitely gonna do a beauty version and I'd like to do a lifestyle version. So talking about favorite snack, fashion, household items, all in one video and then beauty in one. So we'll see if that's actually how I end up landing on it. If I split it into more videos, I'm not sure yet, but it's been fun just sitting here with a piece of paper and thinking, okay, what do I, what can I not stop using? And so right off the bat, I thought of like three things and then they're starting to pop in my head, but I feel like this is really useful because I was, I was just tweeting that, you know, I love YouTubers. I watch them all the time. I have so many favorites, but I do feel like some people that do the yearly favorites will have like four or five or six products in the same category as their favorites from the entire year. And I'm like, I just feel like I feel like it's not cheating because it doesn't matter. There are no rules to this. You can do however you want. It's your channel, your video. But I guess for me as a viewer, I'm left like wanting because I'm like, I really wanted it to be special. I want to know what was so special to you this year. Yes, we know that there are 10 good bronzers out there that maybe you tried this year. And it's kind of the same for me. I know that as I'm planning this, I'm going to face that point where I'm like, okay, I really liked these five palettes, but if I really had to pick one or two that were very special, what would they be? Instead of telling you about all five good palettes, because the reality is there are 10 million good palettes out at any time, at any price point. So anyway, I'm getting off the rails here, but I guess what I'm saying is I'm starting to play in the Jammy Awards and I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Woo we're getting crazy. So we're gonna finally have some dessert and watch Superstore. Got my homemade Thin Mints, ginger cookies. These things I got at Costco the other day. By the way, if you haven't seen my Costco Shop With Me video, I can have Tyler link it below. It was so much fun and we found so many goodies there. And then we've got these dark chocolate pretzels, my personal favorite Reese's. So I need to pour some milk and we're gonna enjoy these sweets.